What's going on guys? I'm back with another video today. Finally got my hands on the brand new Game of Thrones Legends of the Realm set. It is Black Friday and I'm opening this up. I just got home from the card shop. Opening it up now. The video is going to be uploaded on Black Friday. I can't wait. Dude, I've been waiting for this. Oh, I've been waiting to get my hands on this. It came out last Friday. I wasn't able to get to the card shop. And yeah, finally able to get there. I paid $250 for this box. The third most expensive Game of Thrones box I've ever opened. The other two, I paid $350 for this one. And I paid two two uh 250 for this one as well these two boxes if you don't know are essentially the same layout same shape actually five cards per pack one autograph per box and i think they both have yeah oh no th this one they only made six thousand but this one they made nine thousand so extra three thousand there and the thing that is special about this we got box one a three 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 we picked a triple three there three threes which is also the number three. So maybe that's something, I'm not sure. But the thing that's so special about this box is that they, if you go on the website, or actually I'll throw it in the random corner, I did a preview of this set. And the thing that they did with this specific set is every other box, you're guaranteed one of the top 12 signers, which is insane. Because if you buy a case, which is 12 boxes per case, you're guaranteed six of the top 12 and the top 12 is insane. You have Amelia Clark. You have, uh, I'll, say, I'll say their names in show. You have Daenerys Targaryen, Jaime Lannister, Cersei Lannister, Tyrion Lannister. You have Lyanna Mormont. You have uh, Ygritte, Jon Snow. I mean, this is insane. I mean, five cards for five. Oh, baby. Oh, my God. I can't wait. All right. Let's mix them up here. Let's, let's uh, do a little, maybe mix them up here. Let's get something. Increase our luck. I don't know. We're, just, we're doing something. I am looking for any full bleed autograph. I need them for my master sets. I, I'll throw that up in the right corner as well. Go check that out. I'm actually going for the complete master set of every full bleed autograph. So I will definitely take one of those in here. Now, uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to say here, but these, okay. So we have the base card here. Let's see if we could, I don't know where the autograph is. Fuck. So that's all right. So I, Fuck, dude, I don't know how, I don't know the layout. So that's the autograph. We have a gold Osha. That's actually a sick autograph, I'm not gonna lie. Nat Natalia Tenna as Osha here on the gold autograph. Beautiful autograph, I'm not gonna lie. I wanted to show you guys the base card first, but the autograph was right on top. Definitely chromed out, different than before. I'm not a big fan of chrome cards. I liked how they do the base cards before, where it's just no chrome. And I think they're going towards that now because I think this might be numbered here. Yeah, this one's numbered. So they have a bunch of numbered cards in here as well, base parallels, which I'm not a massive fan of. I kind of like the simplicity of old Game of Thrones sets where it's just base and you're really just chasing the hits, like the autograph sketch cards. But this one's numbered to 75, 66 to 75 of Robert Baratheon on the purple. And then we have a, I guess, a black. See, I like, I like the base cards like this. They used to, These were... These, I, I like these, I like these better, but that's just me. And then we have the High Sparrow there. So that's pack one, we got Osha in our first. I don't believe she's one of the top signers, which is good news for us. And we have a, is this a printing plate? It looks like a printing plate. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck this is. All right. <laughs> I don't know what to do here. I have, so the autograph must be on top. So we have Lisa Aaron, one of the Aarons. I mean, their son is just completely out of his mind. And then we have one of these black cards here. So it looks like you get one of these per pack. We have the last war, last war there. And then it looks like we do have a one one here. Is it autographed? It's not. We just have a one one of a original i get that doesn't even say 101 it's just a printing plate so i'm not even sure are these 101s i'm i assume they're 101s but we have the long claw whose sword is that is that john snow or is that samuel tarley's i want to say that might be john snow's sword we have a 101 i'm just going to say 101 here please be a full blade autograph what the fuck is, oh so we have a sigil autograph so i know amelia clark has a sigil autograph three two one bang all right, so we got Lucy Hayes as Kitty Frey, 
not one of the top signers as well. Or no, you're it's every other box. So I'm not even get God damn it. I forgot. So we have Kitty Frey here on the red sigil autograph. So that is pack number two. I don't even know if that's a good hit or not. It's just a printing plate. Nothing special. Nothing special there. Next pack. We have, there we go. We got Talisa Midra on top. So we have Roderick Castle. We have a blue here. Oh, no, sorry. Yeah, so this is a teal autograph. Yigrich Tragic End. I mean, that was just tragic, bro. Fucking, what's his name? That little shit. That little shit shot her, bro. What could have been? And if you didn't know, they're actually married in real life. Jon Snow and Yigrit are married in real life. So, I mean, we got a green here of Ramsey. These are not numbered. So, the greens are not numbered. We got Ramsey there. And it looks like we have a... Harry Lloyd. So we have a bordered autograph of Viserys. Viserys Targaryen there. So we have that in that pack. Nothing crazy so far. Still hoping for something crazy here. I need a, We need a full bleed autograph. I need a full bleed autograph. That's what I need. I need a full bleed autograph. Something, please. 250 for this box. So we actually might have a full bleed autograph here. So we have a Dorea on the base. And then we have a black card here. I guess these are just Blackstone cards. Meeting in the Dragon Pit. That was a crazy episode. That last season was ridiculous. So we have another green here of Cersei. And then it looks like we have an inscription autograph here of Joseph Maul as... Wait, let me think. What's his name? What's his name? He was... Was he a... I think he was a Stark. He's a Stark. Benjen. Benjen Stark. Damn fucking right. I'm so good. Benjamin Stark on the inscription autograph. This is the first ranger. Don't believe he has. That's a one one Don't think he has a one one autograph. Final pack here. Still no full blade autograph. I'm kind of pissed. I, I just want a full blade autograph. Please give me a full blade autograph here. First, we have Mursala Baratheon. Technically not a Baratheon. Fucking terrible ass family. We have the war room there. Honestly, that's just a beautiful war. I mean, look, you got Arya, Jon Snow, Sansa, Tyrion, uh, Daenerys, Lord Varys, Bella Ramsey's over here. We got we have Tormund, Jaime. I mean, that dude. Talk about the war. Like that's the war room right there. That's the war room. And then we have a what is this? Ooh, okay. So we have a poster card here, which is numbered to seventy five. Uh, I don't know if there's. Did we get a... Fuck it, I don't care. Who the fuck is that? So that's numbered. And then we have Roger Ashton Griffiths as Mace Tyrell on the blue autograph. So honestly, probably one of the worst boxes out there. To be honest with you. This is probably one of the worst boxes out there, but I don't care. I was so excited to finally get my hands on this. And finally open it. Five autographs, not a full bleed autograph. Kind of bummed out about that. I would have taken the worst full bleed autograph out there, to be honest with you. And we have this. So I'm not not entirely sure. It doesn't even have 101 on there. It's just a printing plate, which is interesting. So yeah, that's the box. Let me know what you guys think. Have you guys opened this up yet? Or have you bought any cards from the sets? I'm definitely going to end up buying some on eBay now because I'm definitely not going to buy another one of these. These are 250 Definitely not, not bad, but not great. So, yeah, that's the box. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. Till next video. Bye.